a natural pivot from cream blush to an electric can opener. All right, so today is time for March favorites. I'm not doing raves and rejects this month because my rejects have just been random apartment home things that I've returned. That could be a whole other video. But today we've got a big mix, a lot of home stuff, makeup, hair, fragrance. We've got the larger than life coffee mug today because it's that kind of week. I've been rambling on, I'm gonna cut all of that. Oh, okay. I'm like 30 seconds in and I already have 20 minutes of bloopers, so. I have everything I talk about in today's video linked down below in the description box. I'll also pin a comment with the links there. All right, so my skin has been dry. My body has been dry, hands have been cracking, lips were cracking. I'm almost already completely out of this entire tube. This stuff has been single-handedly saving my lips. This is a Korean product that I picked up on YesStyle. It's very affordable. This is a lip sleeping mask. I apply it at night, but also just throughout the day as I need it. And when I tell you the difference when I started using this stuff, my lips were like peeling just super, super dry. And within, I would say like, I don't know, pretty quick, a few days, my lips have been soft. I haven't had the dryness anymore. I put on every single night. And then also I wanna get a second one to just keep in my purse because I'm, I've just been like switching it between bags and just applying it throughout the day as I need it. But this has just made my lips super soft. I love that it's unscented, but it still has like a pretty gloss where if you are wearing it throughout the day, like it gives a nice kind of sheen to your lips. And right now I have it on with the lip liner that I've been wearing pretty much every day again, about the last month. This is the Bare Minerals Blissful Blush. My lips have kind of like a natural pinkish hue to them. And for me, this one is the perfect shade where it gives me this really pretty pinky kind of color, but it's it still looks very natural. It's just like a nice natural rosy kind of hue. I feel like this formula lasts well on me too. It's nice and soft matte looking. So I have applied this all over before and it looked nice, just kind of like a matte lipstick, but I usually just wear it very natural on like the top and bottom just to like overline a little bit. And then I'll honestly just go in with this like I did today. Very pretty when I don't have any makeup on too. Okay, if you like coconut or like vanilla kind of undertones, if there's one thing you need to buy from this entire video, this lotion. My mom influenced me to buy this one, which she said that she was influenced to buy this because I influenced her to buy the vanilla one originally. <laughs> wow, I have so many thoughts just swirling my head about this little lotion here. Formula wise, if you haven't tried the EOS body lotion, I feel like it's one of the best. It is creamy, it's rich, but it absorbs in. It doesn't feel sticky and it actually moisturizes your skin. But the fragrances of these are like a perfume. They have this like intoxicating, both the vanilla and this one is coconut waters. Both of them have this like very intoxicating kind of scent, but what I love is that it actually lasts. And people comment on this scent. Like when someone walks into the room with this on, you can smell it. If you have any kind of vanilla or coconut fragrances layering with this, oh my God. This is one of my favorite perfumes to wear with the Alien Goddess. This has a really similar kind of fragrance. Like I almost feel like this one's just a little bit elevated and more perfume-like, but they have very similar like undertones and notes in there. So these two together, if you already have this, definitely get this lotion. Let's go to a fashion find for a minute. These leggings, these are Walmart. These feel like freaking Lululemon. They feel like butter. So soft, so stretchy, comfortable. They have the yoga kind of band on the top. So they're like nice and flattering on the top, but then they have these really cute cuffed kind of bottoms. I believe it comes in black and a couple other colors. I feel like they need to come out with 5 million colors of these because they're amazing. These also wash well. I have raved about this hair mask. I wanna say for a few months now in vlogs and other videos, but I wanna officially mention it in a favorites video because it deserves that. This is the Bleach London Reincarnation Mask. If you're bleaching your hair, if your hair is damaged, if you get highlights and you need a protein kind of mask, best one I've tried. Like this revived my hair. Went from box black dye, did all over color remover at a salon, and then did a full round of all over bleach. And my hair basically feels exactly the same as it did before I bleached it twice. And that is definitely thanks to 
I attributed to my Garnier Grow Strong line. And then also this mask. You wanna be careful, like don't use this every single time you wash your hair because it does have protein in it. So you don't wanna add too much protein in your hair. So I think it just depends on the state of your hair. I don't wanna give a set like use this X amount of times because it probably just depends like how damaged your hair is and what your starting point is. Just been really enjoying the very glowy cheek again, glowy skin. I just wanna um, look not dry, you know? And this Huda Beauty blush, I mentioned it probably like I don't know, a year ago, I wanna say, as a favorite. And it's back in my life. I've been using this every single day, the Coral Cutie Cheeky Tint. There's something about the shade of this that is so flattering. It gives the most beautiful, reflective kind of cheek. Has just the right amount of sheen. It's not glittery, but it definitely gives you a massive glow. I like to apply it with my Real Techniques brush. I just go straight on the face and then blend it out with my brush. Put it a little bit over my nose if you like these kind of glowy pinky blushes this is also super pretty layered with the house labs rose quartz a natural pivot from cream blush to an electric can opener can't explain it but opening cans grinds my gears when it doesn't align and it doesn't like click and then it gets all messed up i showed using this in a vlog it's the easiest thing ever you just plop it on and press the button and it goes around and like cuts the can perfectly. This is one of those gadgets that now that it's in my life, I don't know how, how I've survived without, you know, from Amazon. Amazing if you hate opening cans. Next up we have my braided blanket that's on my couch. Whenever I show this on Instagram or in blogs, I get questions about it. It's always linked, but it's on my Amazon storefront as well. I have the exact color down below. Love this blanket. It is so soft. It's like the chenille kind of material. It's not wooly. A lot of the blankets that look braided are that like wool material, which I'm not a fan of. Comes in a bunch of colors. I have this draped over my couch. Well, I love them up. Yep. You know you're in your 30s when you get excited about a mop. This thing though, I freaking love. It's the O-Cedar, not the mop mop. I've had the actual mop. This is like the Swiffer wet jet kind of mop, but O-Cedar version. I don't know. I just have like some kind of brand loyalty to O-Cedar. I've had Swiffers in the past. I just don't love them. I know the Swiffer wet jet is probably the same exact thing, but the O-Cedar mop. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to use pads and you just put the cleaning solution directly in. You spray it out. It's just so much easier than mopping, you guys. And then I got replacement pads, I'll link them down below. So you don't have to wash one every single time. I just love this thing. If you've seen my moving vlogs, I talk about the bed situation and how just uncomfortable it was. I got like the wrong mattress and it was just a journey to find the comfortable combo. I have found it. I got this four inch topper off Amazon and it is now my bed I feel like is so comfy. The topper has like the foam, but then also a down thing on top. So I still have support. Like I'm not super sunk into my bed. I still feel like I have enough support, but it's so comfortable. I'm like so happy that I found this topper. So if you have a super uncomfortable mattress that you just haven't been able to make work, highly recommend this topper. One of my favorite Amazon finds that I've ever found are these magnetic shelves. They feel like super nice high quality. If you have a black side of your fridge, they look so nice because they just blend in, but it adds shelving space to your kitchen. You could use them for spices, random stuff, medicine, vitamins. They have a super strong magnet. So it just instantly magnetizes to the side of the fridge, super easy. Comes in a pack of four, look nice and modern and sleek. I love these. A couple months ago, I got to work with Aritzia over on Instagram and I talked about these sweatpants and I have been wearing them nonstop since. It is hard to find a baggy pair of sweatpants like this that is fitted in the right spots and that doesn't make you look like total diaper butt, you know? These are perfect. They have pockets on the sides fitted in the right spots. They still have that comfy bagginess, but they don't look too bulky. The one thing I'll say is that they do shed a lot from the inside. There's just a lot of fluff coming out, but they are still really nice and soft fleece on the inside. I did a home haul before I moved in and showed some Bath & Body Works products I picked up in that, but these two hand soaps I want to specifically call out because both of them smell incredible and they stay. After you wash your hands, you're still getting whiffs of the scent. I'm not usually a lavender person at all and this has like a hint of lavender, but really it's just the vetiver that you smell. I'm like halfway out of this one. Love this, would a thousand percent repurchase this. And then this scent, Wild Suede and Rose. Again, not one that I would usually pick up. Not usually into Rose at all. I have the candle version of this too. This smells like a hotel lobby to me. This one is Pink Tea Rose, Soft Suede and Warm Amber. I love the packaging of this one as well. Just looks really nice and clean. So this one surprised me. These are the Sephora Self Tanning Drops 
with hyaluronic acid. So I'm not using these on my body. I, ha I haven't even tried them on my body. I only use these kind of products for my face because tanning drops in the past, I just feel like there's no point. Like you end up using way too many on your body. In the past, I haven't been super into tanning my face because I feel like I'm usually putting on a tinted SPF and then makeup on top. But lately I've just been I don't know, I've just been wanting to like let my skin kind of breathe. I've just been wanting to put on less foundation and less makeup overall. I do like probably four drops. I mix these in with my moisturizer at night and then when you wake up in the morning, it's like you have a nice hint of color. They don't look orangey, they don't look patchy at all. Blends in really nicely and it just makes it so my face matches my body a little bit more. I feel like relative to other brands of these I've tried, these ones are, I mean, there's the Sephora brand so they are more affordable and the Sephora brand goes on sale a lot. The Sephora sale is coming up though so just a heads up with all the stuff I'm mentioning. And during those sales, the Sephora brand itself always, I feel like they put on extra sale. I actually haven't tried these on my hands yet, but I almost think that could be good because they have hyaluronic acid and they haven't been like patchy or streaky or anything on my face. I would be kind of curious to try these on my hands mixed in with like a lotion. Okay, I'm not gonna show my used one on camera, but I will put in a photo here. I've discovered the tongue scraper and I can't go back. A tongue scraper is what it sounds like. It's like this metal object that you scrape your tongue with. It's a weird um, experience when you use a tongue scraper for the first time because when you see what comes off of there, you're gonna be so grossed out that you haven't used one your whole life. Obviously there's just like bacteria and gunk that's chilling on your tongue. And even if you brush your tongue, like of course, you know, when you brush your teeth, I always brush my tongue. Not the same thing. This really gets it all off. I use it every single night, sometimes in the morning. I have not been reading lately, mostly because I got freaking immediately addicted to Summer House and spent way too much time binging every single season of Summer House. So like usual, I'm here supplying you with quality content, telling you what trash reality TV you need to watch. If you haven't seen Summer House, I'm gonna tell you where you need to start and how to do it. Watch season one, episode one, just to get a gist for like what the show is, but then skip the first and second seasons and just go straight to either season three or season four and start from there. And it takes a few episodes to kind of get into it. Like it kind of feels, at the beginning it feels a little slow paced, but then once you get to know the people on the show, it gets so addicting. They basically live in New York City and then on the weekends they go to, I never remember if it's Montauk or the other bougie one. All of it is just so entertaining and you're gonna get hooked. It takes a few episodes, but after that you will get hooked. So because of my summer house obsession that branched off into the Giggly Squad podcast. Paige and Hannah from that show have their own podcast together and it's one of the few podcasts where I actually, every single episode, laugh out loud. <laughs> every time. So if you need just a good, like, funny, put on in the background podcast that's just lighthearted, Giggly Squad. Uh, I have two very random current food addictions. One are jalapeno olives, jalapeno stuffed olives, especially with Cheez-Its right now really hitting the spot, especially at nighttime, very healthy. While you're binging Summer House, pop a Cheez-It, pop a jalapeno olive, I'm giving you all the healthy lifestyle habits. And then my other current addiction are the Trader Joe's frozen lemon bars. They're, they come in little squares, you keep them in the freezer. I am fully addicted right now, but what I really like is that I'm like fully satisfied after one lemon bar, and one bar is only 90 calories, which for dessert, like if you're just trying to keep it a little bit low for dessert, that's good for dessert. Like I feel fully satisfied after. Gets my sweet tooth covered, and they're so good. They're like sweet but tart. I ran out last night, and I think I need to go to Trader Joe's today, specifically for the lemon bars. So those are all the favorites I wanted to call out and have everything on my face today that I'm wearing, necklace, everything else I talked about in today's video is listed down below in the description box. For makeup, for eyeshadow I have on the Ethereal Eyes Makeup by Mario palette. Say Slip Tin in the shade three and a half, always a favorite. Told you my lips, Natasha Denona concealer. These two mascaras, that is it. Now I've got lemon bars on the brain. Let me know what your current favorites are down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.